took a long time to find what I was looking for But when it did, it all fit together it took a long time to see what was in front of me And I can't lie, no matter how I try Welcome to Denmark, guys. I am on my way into Copenhagen Airport in the metro right now, and I'm gonna pick up Jake. He's on an airplane right now from Amsterdam, so <laughs> I'm so excited. Good morning and welcome to Feyenoord. This is the island where my grandpa lives. We were here last year as well with Jake and um, it just feels nice to like be back here. So Jake has met my grandpa. My grandpa lives on this island and this is the island that I kind of grew up on going on holidays. Um, several times a year and it's one of the most like I would say cultural and local and cozy holiday communities in Denmark. I think there's around thousand people who live here all year round and my grandpa and my grandma included but my grandma passed away um, I would say five years ago now so it's a little bit hard to come back and then like see everything always identical to how it always was but it at the end of the day, it's so nice to see my grandpa and bring Jake here and show him all of the many photos of our families that are here. And it's just such a wholesome, wholesome place that means the world to me. But today is actually our last day on the island. Tomorrow we're heading back to Copenhagen. That will be another video. So today I'll take you on, on this little journey with us. So let's just get out and find some breakfast. Let's go. Before we go on with this video, I want to take a little minute to introduce the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. If you're a part of our little beautiful community, then you would have definitely heard about Skillshare before, but here is a little refreshener. Skillshare is a digital learning community where new classes are added to the website every single week. This means that you can take any class that you like on the website made by a professional in the field. I love Skillshare because it's so good at recommending me exactly what I love to do and to learn about. When I was in Denmark before Jake arrived, I took a couple of classes and it was just perfectly created for me. I took the Designing the Life You Want for Exercise for Clarity and Motivation by Michelle B. And then I also followed some super interesting lucid dreaming guide called Lucid Dreaming, the complete guide Beginner to Advanced by Absolute Quests. These suggestions was just spot on for me and another section on Skillshare that I really love is the Thriving Personal Development section. I know that personal development is also a huge interest of yours so I know that you will absolutely love Skillshare as much as me. So the first thousand people to sign up via the link down below will get a whole month for free on Skillshare. Now let's get on with the video. <laughs> On the chair. I think. Hello. Do you leave? I'm gonna sit there. What the? Uh, Should we just do two of those? Yes. Can I grab a beer? <laughs> <laughs> Should I just uh, go in and order? For yes, you? please. Thank you. Yes, really appreciate it. Jake is insane. <laughs> yeah, sorry, your um, boyfriend's jobless now. <laughs> You're not jobless. <laughs> Jake, he um, quit his job and um, he's working on. If you, you don't know, like your job, quit. <laughs> yeah, if you don't like your job, quit. That's his motto right now. Yeah. So he quit and now he's like creating new opportunities for himself. So he's not yeah. really jobless. I think you're doing really well. Okay. Um, but it's a walking joke that I'm paying for stuff now. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. I'll pay you all back. Um, yeah. You know what you can pay me back with? Okay, let's go get some food. <laughs> Or 
organic beer. I didn't get beer. It's literally... <coughs> it's 10.57. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most Danish style ever, baby. You fit right in. Mm -hmm. I love the sound of laughing kids. This is the place that we were having... We were staying over last summer. And it was... It was so nice. If you've watched the video from last year from the island, then you would know. But also the breakfast platter was so good that we really wanted to come back and just have some breakfast here. Mm. down to the harbor because my grandpa pointed out a boat and said that they're serving coffee on the boat so I'm curious to see if it's open <laughs> so we can have a little coffee and I don't know if we're going the right way though <laughs> we found some seals they're laying over there because the water is so low that they can lay. Mm. And tell me, honey, we go far. What's your style? Hazel, they, they let us on if we dared to to walk <laughs> since the water is still really low here the boat is like placed kind of lower than it usually is so it's hard to board it but they, sh she said they've had it for three years and I didn't know that yeah this is so cool So apparently this couple bought this bo uh, boat a couple of years ago, three years ago's time or something, and then they spent some time like getting it ready, and now it's it's a floating bar. That's so impressive. And they lived in Nice in France for 15 years. This couple is like ultimate goals. I want to do that too, baby. <laughs> Today is actually kind of like a special holiday or I don't really know what you're gonna call it but the very southern part of this island has kind of like a national holiday. National, it's not even national, like a holiday. And people are gonna dress up in the traditional clothes and they're gonna dance and sing and I don't know, my sister is gonna be dressed in that dress as well. Um, so we just want to go down there to celebrate today. My dad is down there as well with his girlfriend, so it, it'll be very cozy. So we're figuring out where there is some bikes that we could take to drive down. It'll probably take around 30 minutes, I think. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit farther than I thought it would be, but it's beautiful, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. so much. Yeah, really, Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh. Hi, Hi Tina. Hi. How are you? Thanks. 
Wait, what, what did you just say? Swedish people look colder than Danish people. Yeah. Danish people look warmer. Like we nicer. look nicer than yeah, Swedish nicer. people? Yeah. They're gonna hate it. No, I, I love this. This is the first time I've heard something in relation to that. <laughs> Swedish people look like an ice. They look ice? too cold, yeah. yeah. They look wow. very cold. No, I've never heard this before in my life. It's always been like Danish people are the, the weird ones. And the other Scandi people are like, Ellen is dancing! My little sister is dancing. Hold on, let me show you guys. <laughs> Only Asians are sitting here, surrounded by a bunch of white people, <laughs> enjoying the moment. That's your experience. Yeah. <laughs> I think both Jake and I got too little food today and too much beer already. But the bike ride took us like, I think, <laughs> three times as long as it's supposed to take us. Yeah, my legs are paralyzed. Yeah, Jake, uh, I, I kind of miscalculated because uh, Jake is not used to uh, biking. Yeah. And I thought, oh, it'll take us like 30 minutes, but it ended up taking us almost an hour and a half. Yeah, but it's good. We made it to celebrations and now mm. Everyone in the suits and such, they are heading to the different restaurants here and dancing all night. So we're just heading to get some food because we're starving. And Jake is choking me from behind. <laughs> There's, it's so crowded at the main restaurant that there's really no seats at all. Mm. But Jake was so hungry, so we got him some spare ribs. You've never had spare ribs before. Maybe I live in Canada. But I don't. Spare ribs is something American, no? Yeah, we're in North America. That's America <laughs> as well. <laughs> That's America as well. Yeah. <laughs> mm, fucking God. Yeah, it's good, right? Mm. <laughs> mm. 아 여기 감자 좀 줘. 음. I was almost like tearing up just looking at that, you know, the little dances and the mm. my sister in the suit. She just looked so sweet. But tonight there's going to be a ball and people are apparently going to drink very hard liquor all night. Mm. So I think we're gonna have a tough morning tomorrow going mm. to Copenhagen. <laughs> mm. What was that? Come with me. Just now, is there someone who's going to sing? Hi, Elsa. Hi, Baby. And just now, are we missing something? Toy. What's that called now? Så der er tøj, som man er på deres... Øhm, nej, jeg tror, det er nationaldag. Så der er virkelig mange natur. Hvor var du ikke i? Hej! Hej! Woohoo! Vi fandt en dyr her. Jake's been wanting to play with the deers, but I don't think he realizes how shy they are. Oh my god, he got close. You got so close, baby! Lige spilt øl 
er på sin nederdel. Det var ikke så godt. Og der var en masse her også, ikke? feeling sun high yesterday i think i forgot to put on sunscreen a lot of places very specifically there's like a line on my throat here where i'm like so red and my ear on the right side is burning you can't really see it on camera i think maybe a little bit but i'm wearing makeup so that's why it's not that obvious but the line up here i'm having like a line of red band on my forehead but i always get that every single year because as you can see my forehead is really big and this is where it bends backwards mm. and I forgot to bring a cap and a hat and something to protect myself <sighs> also my lips are sunburned as well so I really need to go and get a good like lip balm with SPF in it and such but that'll be in Copenhagen because right now we are heading to the ferry to leave the island and head over to Copenhagen um, and check into our Airbnb. I booked a really cozy apartment that just looks very traditional, like classic Copenhagen apartment. So I'm really excited also for Jake to see like the essence of, you know, a proper Copenhagen apartment. <laughs> you want to say good morning? Let's go, guys, and catch the ferry. Yeah. 